Hey guys, Kristen here from Hammock Haven Farm, and I'm flying solo today, so this is going to be a really short video. Uh, Chase is at camp, and so I'm doing all the camera thing and everything myself. Um, when I did my fried cheese video, a lot of people asked how I got my chev into those nice rolls like I did. Um, cylinder molds, that's the way. So let me adjust this camera, and I'm going to show you how we do this. Alrighty, I've got my chev here that I made last night and it's been draining for a couple of hours. I'm going to put the colander over a bowl. I've dumped the whey out for the piggies. First we want to salt this. So let me get this out of the way. I used about a gallon and a half of milk on this one, so it looks like about the right amount of salt. I just kind of eyeball it and stir that in. Once you've got that salt worked in real well to where it's all kind of a nice soft consistent texture, we're going to spoon this into our cylinder molds. So I take a plate, just a plain old dinner plate, and set up my clean molds on the plate. And I like to use my spoon to kind of make a ball, I guess, and start dropping those balls of cheese down into your mold. Just like that. And when it gets up high enough that you can reach the spoon, I start to use the spoon to pack it down a little bit. It's gonna have some little holes in it uh, anyway, but that way you don't have big, big gaps, like big air bubbles will keep it, when you try to take it out of the mold, it'll make it so it wants to break, break in half in those pieces. Now, when these are all done, uh, it's about 15 ounces of cheese comes out of one of these molds. So it's a good way for me to kind of eyeball how much cheese I've got. So I often cut them into halves or thirds. All right, there's one full. If you got several of these molds, if you're doing a big batch, sometimes I will rubber, rubber band them together and that way they're not gonna fall over. But with just these two, I'm just gonna be careful with them and not worry about it. You can see on this one, I put it a little over the top. It's going to compress down as it loses weight. And I am going to leave these like this for about an hour. Then we'll check them and we'll flip them over the other direction and leave them for about another, I don't know, hour or two. And then after that, we'll throw them in the refrigerator. Uh, if you try to remove the cheese while it's still warm, it hasn't set up and you'll find it's really soft. It's doable, but it's not the easiest thing in the world. Well, I didn't quite get those the same size, but it's not a big deal. Alrighty, I'm gonna let that drain for about an hour. It's been about an hour now, and you can see how much these have worked their way down. I'm just gonna flip them over. We've got a good bit of whey on the plate, but it's not gonna overflow. If we get more, um, more than two or three of these, you might want to use more than one plate or you will overflow or you've got to keep dumping the plate off. Okay, so we're going to leave it like that for another couple hours. It's been a few hours and remember when we put this one in that it was actually up above the mold and this one's sunk down there too. So I'm going to lay them on their side and put them in the refrigerator. Sometimes I'll put plastic wrap over and uh, put them in the refrigerator for overnight, but I want to get this video wrapped up. So I'm going to chill them for a couple of hours and we'll come back and unmold them and let you see how it turns out. And you see on this plate how much whey came out of those. These have been chilled now for a couple of hours and you just kind of have to hang them around like this to loosen them up and then they'll slide out. And there you go. Thank you guys for watching. This is just a really short video. We've got a couple of other things in the works, so please subscribe and stay tuned. We'll see you soon.